Hi guys, welcome back to Dream Tarot. I'm here to do a collective reading because um, I try to do Aries, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Pisces today, but I don't feel like my head is in the game. Like I don't feel like I'm connected to the readings. So I'm going to just try to do a collective reading and just, you know, call it a day. Because I don't know what's going on, but I'm just not connecting. All right, so let's see, let's see. Let's see what's going to come out for my collective. Let's see what's going to come out for my collective. One second, guys. Let me just lay out all the cards. All right, bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands, okay? So first of all, this is pinpointing a connection, a love connection. I know that because of the Two of Cups. Um, and it seems like someone could be coming back into your life, Six of Cups, all right? Now, it really depends who you are. So if you're the masculine, um, feminine, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio could be coming towards you. If it's not a water sign, feminine energy, this is just definitely someone who has the hots for you, very um, very much loves you a lot or very fond of you. Very nurturing, likable woman, okay? Could be a mother figure here as well. Could be someone who has a little bit of psychic ability, mediumship, okay? Um, but yeah, there's a feminine here who really is quite fond of you, looking towards you. Now, if you're the feminine, I could have just described you. I do have a masculine coming towards you, King of Swords. This person could be an Aquarius, Libra, a Gemini. If it's not any of those signs, air sign energy could be definitely have, this person could definitely have air sign um, qualities. Could be very intelligent, masculine here, okay? Um, very intellectual, good at communication. Not always the most emotional being. Has a hard time even explaining their emotions sometimes. Where maybe you have questioned if they even had emotions for you in the past. And yeah, yeah. I feel like this masculine could be coming towards you, okay? Now, what's being offered here? Um, Ace of Pentacles. There is an offer for a deeper commitment or some type of energy towards where you you and this person could be showing you that they want to be committed, right? So it doesn't have to say, it doesn't have to be that this person is returning and saying, let's get back together, let's get married. There could be talks about that, but that Ace of Pentacles is like beginning stages of things that I would do for someone that I am going to be committed to. So this could be like, you know, we're going to go back on more, we're going to go on more dates. This could be, um, you should come to my family Christmas dinner. Um, this could be like, um, you know, seeing someone more regularly, communication getting um, more heightened, you know, um, just beginning stages of what a, a connection, a committed, <laughs> oh Jesus. Y'all, you see, this is why I didn't record the readings today. Okay, so with the Ace of Pentacles, this could be like the beginning. <laughs> beginning stages of a committed connection, okay? Um, now, it looks like this person coming towards you could be very stable at the time. They're feeling very happy. They have harmony in their life, feeling very balanced. Um, they also could be calling you to their home very soon. Some of you, not all of you. Or they'll be communicating you from the comfort of their home. But someone's feeling very balanced in their life. They have a lot of harmony, happiness. And this is why they want. They feel like they're able to offer this. Now, with the Two of Pentacles being here, you will have um, a decision to make. And it may you may feel... You may not feel like right away you want to accept this person's offer. You may be iffy or indecisive about this, okay? Because some of you with the Eight of Pentacles just want to see how much effort is this person actually going to put in? It's one thing to say it, but what actions will this person show towards me, right? Um, some of you guys are recounting a tower moment between you two. 
and I'm going to clarify that, um, where things fell apart suddenly and it could have been a lot to bear on your end and this person's end, right? But for you, that could have been very devastating. It's like, I do not wish to repeat that, okay? So let's see what the tower was. All right, clarify the tower, please, for what happened in the past between these two. Clarify the tower, please, for what happened in the past between these two. All right, Seven of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. Um, I'm hearing that song. Is it by Jasmine Sullivan? It's like, I'm going in circles, circles. Round and round and why you doing me so wrong? I just keep holding you down. I feel so stupid, foolish, loving you this way. You know, y'all know that song? I forget the name of the song, but some of y'all know that song. Some of y'all don't. But yeah, going in circles, circles, round and round, eight of swords. Self-sabotage energy. It felt like every time you guys would take one step forward, you take two steps back. Like someone would purposely... It felt like the closer you were getting to this person, they would purposely, you know, do things to sabotage the connection because they could have been afraid of commitment. Or maybe this person was feeling indecisive in the past as well. Or, you know, I don't know. This person, they could have their own motive here. I don't really know. Okay, but with the Seven of Pentacles, you could have invested a lot in this situation or you could have held it down, right? Only for your investment to not really go through, you know, and that could have really sucked. So it's like, I gave this person my all, you know, I gave them sex. <laughs> That's not funny, guys. I'm just a child, okay? Um, I, I, I told my friends that I was falling for this person. I let them meet my family or my kids, you know what I'm saying? And so it's like you could have invested a lot in this situation just to see it just crumble in front of your face. Um, and following this person's lead, but, you know, they would self-sabotage so much, it's like you weren't even going anywhere. Um, yeah, so... <sighs> At this point, too, we have the Seven of Wands, right? So someone here feels like they should reject this or push this away. Someone also dealt with someone who pushed them away or rejected them. So it's kind of like, you know, can we really trust this reunion, Six of Cups? Can we really trust it? All right, so I'm going to clarify some of these cards, but I'm going to start kind of backwards. We're going to start with the Queen of Cups. I want to know my feminine, how do they feel towards my masculine at this time? All right, so it's very interesting because even cutting the deck, we have the King of Wands, masculine, and we have the Princess of Pentacles, feminine, but it's really the Page of Pentacles. So I could say my feminine here could feel like, you know, the Queen of Cups, love this person dearly, but at the same time, Princess of Pentacles or Page of Pentacles, I've been trying to detach. I've been trying to play down this connection in my head so that I can detach, okay? Um, masculine could feel like the King of Wands. I want to chase after this. I want to make this a goal of mine. I want to go after it full force. I want to focus on this. You know, I'm highly motivated to have this again. But they also feel like the King of Swords. A part of me has a hard time um, communicating how I truly feel. So it could be hard. Like if you were to come back with this person and you may ask them what's their intentions, how do they feel about you, you wouldn't necessarily get the... Um, response that you would want to hear because this person could have a hard time opening up okay now masculine too if you're the one who's like you know awaiting this person or not even awaiting this feminine you just you know from this message you know who this person is it's like you're very in your head about this situation you're thinking it over because yes you may want it you're motivated to have that back there is something that gives you like um, precaution, like, okay, let me be cautious about this, you know, just because I'm highly attracted to this individual and I really want this right now and I, I want to manifest it towards me, I feel like I need to watch my back, King of Swords, okay? All right, so we did that. Let's clarify the Queen of Cups. All right, we have the Six of Swords. So yes, feminine energy has started to move on. Six of Swords is a healing energy of like, you know, facing the parts of you that could have even played a part in the demise. Um, you could 
tell me, hey, Dream, you know, I didn't do anything. I really loved this person. I held them down. And I would say to you, you know, well, you did do something. Even if you you accepted this and you seen that you weren't necessarily getting what you deserved, you accepted it for a while and that was your fault. You know, like you shouldn't have held this person down as long as you did. You know, whether you knew their intention or not, whether you knew where it was going to go or not, there is some role that even, um, you know, the person who may have not been done wrong did because I do see here with the seven of pentacles with the eight of swords someone was too patient too kind with someone when clearly they were seeing a redundancy a pattern right and that's not to make anyone feel bad you know that's just to say okay six of swords I gotta face that part of me why do I allow myself to stay in situations that do not satisfy or fulfill me you know so that's kind of what this feminine is going through right now Trying to move on, trying to heal, okay? Clarify the Six of Swords. Okay, we have the Knight of Cups. Still very attracted and still romantically involved um, with this masculine. Doesn't have to be physically involved, but definitely emotionally involved still, okay? So it's like, I'm trying to move on. I'm trying to heal. I'm trying to reinvent myself and be a stronger, like, strength card feminine. But at the same time, with the Knight of Cups, I am still interested in, in this person. I cannot tell a lie, right? Knight of Cups, too, this feminine could be dating other people as well, um, you know, dating putting themselves back on the scene kind of trying to like i said with that princess of pentacles detach okay say about this king of swords i hope this is resonating guys because i did not have the biggest confidence today i gotta be 100 okay so what's the king of swords king of swords king of swords is the fool okay fool and a star on the bottom so this is someone who, first of all, the reason that this King of Swords is so much in their head, because it can be very nerve wracking to be the fool, right? To take that, that leap of faith and not know where you're going to land, okay? This could have been my masculine in the past where they did take a leap of faith with this feminine and maybe the feminine didn't come through. You know, maybe they held the feminine down, right? Because there could be two sides to this. So we're going to talk on both sides. Um, and it's like, I'm just afraid to take a risk. There's also be a masculine who's afraid to take a risk when it comes to committing, right? That could be very scary. Um, but they do want to heal the situation. But there could be some insecurities towards coming to heal things, right? Will I be rejected? Do they even feel the same way? Am I even ready to give them what they want trying to come back into their life, right? Clarify the fool. Okay, the fool here is a two of wands. So instead of taking action just yet, this masculine kind of wants to sit and plan. Okay, I'm going to sit and I'm going to plan. I'm going to think about what I want and then I'm going to go after it. But right now, I'm just going to sit here and just kind of plan about it. Okay. Now, also, two two ones talks about not being satisfied at where you're at right now, not being fulfilled. So it's like you know, I know I'm not happy alone, or I'm not happy without my counterpart. So I want to try to come up with a plan to have that again, right? All right. So let's see. We have the six of cups here. It looks like there is a a failing of wanting to reunite. Maybe let's see if there will be any action towards that. So what's the six of cups? Ace of Cups, okay, so there definitely will be some action. Someone here will offer their hand of love again, right? Their Ace of Cups towards whoever, whether it's the masculine coming towards the feminine or this feminine's coming back towards their masculine, there will be an offer of love with that Ace of Cups, okay? Seven of Wands, though, someone is so afraid. There's two sides here, right? The person who was pushed away and the person who pushes that person away. There's a fear of both, right? I fear of being pushed away. I, You know, it's just on both ends. Like, even whoever pushed the person away before gets has a fear of being pushed away from that person that they pushed away. Sorry, I'm not trying to confuse anybody. <laughs> All right, so what's the Seven of Wands, please? Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands. Give me the Seven of Wands, okay? All right, so if there's a watching energy. And this could be mutually or just one person to the other, you know. Find your place, okay? 
Um, but with the Page of Swords, it's just watching energy. Like, you know, let me see what their mannerisms are like right now. Let me see what they're posting. Let me see, are they listening to, you know, FNF? Or are they listening to love songs? You know, like, let me see what they're, you know, let's... And if you don't know where F and F is, it's, um, it's, excuse my language, but it's fuck nigga free by Glorilla. Okay. They want to see like, what's your attitude right now? You know, what's your attitude towards love? What's your attitude towards me or masculines or feminines in general? What's your general attitude right now? Once I can figure out what your attitude is, then I feel more confident with the King of Wands or the Queen of Wands, right? where I can come in and approach you and offer you the Ace of Cups, okay? Now, we do have the Eight of Pentacles here, which talks about an ultimate focus on one's goals, mastery towards something, mastery of the connection, Two of Cups, right? So there is a lot of effort that someone wants to put into this, okay? Like a lot with the Eight of Pentacles. Let's see. Let's say Eight of Pentacles. The emperor, okay? So definitely could be a masculine here. This could be someone who is a father figure. It could be an Aries for some of you, right? But um, nine of cups on the bottom of the deck. It's like I have one wish fulfillment. I'm very, you know, adamant about getting it with that emperor. Um, and I'm going to take accountability for me not giving so much effort in the past. I'm going to take this as a responsibility of mine to show you more effort, show you um, that I'm actually care by putting my all into this eight of pentacles to work things out two of cups is the connection Can you tell me something that? Would be relevant for whoever's watching to tell them about this connection with this person um, Give me a card for the two of cups. Like, what is the connection based off of what's the energy? Just give me something Oh the Sun just um, positivity and happiness when you and this person are together. There is like um, an energy of big smiles between you two. Like, I don't know, especially as masculine with the King of Swords, not someone who's usually shows their heart on the front page, right? But you could definitely have this masculine smiling a lot. Queen of Cups smiles all the time when you guys are together. Um, this could have been a summer connection that maybe you met in the summer or you guys were on really good terms in the summer. There could also be a child between you too, especially with the emperor being here. There could be um, a child or the birth of or creation of, sorry, didn't mean to say birth of, I meant to say creation of. So you know how people create children, so. <laughs> you should know by, you know. Also nature could be something really big or just going out during the daytime. Like maybe there, you guys could have a nighttime connection but a lot of time spent throughout the day. What else with that sun? Also too with the sun, ego. Okay, I don't know who, I don't know what, but definitely ego is and pride is could be the more negative thing between you and this person. Um, like maybe that's something that would cause you guys to stop talking and no one would reach out. This could be why someone is having a hard time coming towards or to. Um, and also to, okay, what else was going to say? Ego, ego, pride, I was going to say. Fuck, I forgot. Sorry. All right. We have the magician here as well. Um, so this is also like someone takes a lot of pride or has a lot of confidence in who they are, how they dress, how they come off. This could also be someone who kind of just makes shit happen or you too could be both people who create and make shit happen. Um, now you may be saying, what do you mean by that? I really don't know. This is like maybe like, you know, some last minute plans that you guys pulled together and someone could be like, wow, how did you even do that? Like, so last minute, this could be overcooking. I don't know why I'm getting that. But sometimes when I think of the magician, I think about cooking or chef because, um, you have all the elements. So you have like, you know, the wand, which could be like, um, could be like fire right you have cups which is like water which people use to cook okay or steam you have the sword which is like cutting i don't know why i'm getting that for some reason and then you have the pentacle energy you know you can buy your ingredients or it could be earth energy using things from the earth i don't know but through cooking too like maybe someone pulled together a last minute meal really easily and someone was like how did you do that this could be like reservations like last minute or squeezing into like you know um lounges 
that are like packed or whatever. I don't know. This could be like last minute tickets to go see a movie. I don't know. Okay, let's see what else. Five of Pentacles. You know what this connection to is um, at a time where you guys both or one of you felt very left out in the cold because I just did the Aries reading and I don't, I'm not gonna I don't think I'm gonna post it because I didn't finish it I stopped midway but there was something about um being like seen or not feeling like a nobody you know what I'm saying okay so everybody has that feeling you know because the society that we live in sometimes it, it is to outcast you is to make you feel like a nobody and then that pushes capitalism so you're gonna buy all these things you know just to feel like someone okay not everybody right but that is kind of how like life is how society is right with the five of pentacles it's like you could have seen this person for their true self you didn't care what this person had they didn't care what you had there was a genuine connection not based off of you know what they're wearing what car they're driving you know what family they came from what type of job they have there was like a genuine genuine sense of being between you two where you guys received each other in human form and nothing more you know it's like i see you for your soul okay so that's really beautiful here it, this could be why someone is feeling very sad now because you could have been one of the only people besides maybe their family or closest friends who really didn't judge them for what they could offer, okay? Two of Pentacles. So now, okay, so actually let me start from the Four of Wands. So someone's telling you to come over or someone's calling you when they're home. All right, it could be a very odd, I don't know why that's odd. Okay, whatever, four of wands. Yeah, ten of swords, interesting. Someone also has found harmony in a time that they were feeling very depressed. So this could also have been a reason. Remember I was saying there's different reasons that maybe someone could have self-sabotaged a connection. And I was like, I don't really know, you know, what it is. But one of those reasons could have been the ten of swords, right? Like I already suffered a big loss. Maybe I just went through a divorce. Maybe I just went through a breakup that was long term. Someone that I thought was the love of my life. Maybe even my family are like beefing. Maybe I got fired. You know, something someone was going through where they could have been in a very sad state or even depressed. Okay. Sorry to say that word if it triggers anybody, but we just keep it real, right? And now someone's feeling harmony. They're feeling like themselves again. And so now they may feel like they can offer you the connection that you deserved in the past. Okay. Justice. All right. I'm going to make things right. So we have this Ace of Pentacles, the offer is going to be given here. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles, you know, like just anything else you can tell me. King of Cups, okay, interesting. So now we're finally on the same page, right? Now we're finally on the same page. Now we're two individuals who are willing to be open with our emotions and vulnerable with each other and have real conversations, you know, not hold anything back. Okay. And that comes from someone is going to be super vulnerable with wanting to, let me put it this way. Someone's going to be super vulnerable with wanting to um, offer this because they truly want it. And it's something that they will open up and say, okay. All right. So two of pentacles, it's offered or it will be offered. There can be some indecision about should I offer this? Will I be rejected? There could be indecision about should I even take this person's offer? You know, let's see. What's the two of pentacles? Give me the two of pentacles, please. Two of pentacles. Okay. Page of pentacles. Again, someone just doesn't want to be treated like a page. Okay. Someone wants someone to see them in their king or their queen value. Someone doesn't want to be breadcrumbed. Excuse me. Okay. It's like if the offer is teeny tiny, you can keep it because honestly, I'm on some new shit, right? Also, someone could have been trying to detach and they're like, if I open myself up to this again, am I being stupid? Am I putting myself through the same bullshit that I just went through previously with this person. How do I know that this is legit? Okay. Understandable. So I think I should definitely do extended for this reading and see what's going to happen between you two. And yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to get the last words like we always do. We're going to get the emojis. Okay. 
Um, and we're going to move to the extended, guys. All right. Thank you for being patient with your readings. I promise Aries, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Pisces will be done tomorrow. Tomorrow is Monday. I'll make sure to get that out for you guys. I just don't know. I don't feel, I want to like feel so connected in your reading that it hurts. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just don't like that. Um, I don't think I was feeling super confident and I don't feel like that was giving the best energy for your reading. Okay. All right. So let's see. Let's get the emojis first. All right, so give me some emojis, please, for whoever is dealing with the situation. Anything insightful that could help them, you know. Um, I don't know what these would help you with. <laughs> okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see. Give me some emojis, please, for whoever is dealing with this early December with this person. Anything that could signify this reading being for them. All right, I think this is like a shuttle, but it's like a... It's a like train shuttle. So I don't know. It's like something about like, okay, sorry. It's like a plane shuttle. You know, like when you're trying to, when you're inside the airport and you get in the shuttle to go to the different gates. Okay. I don't know why I'm seeing that. This could just be a train, but it looks like a newer train. So I would think it's one of those. We have a sub subtraction thing here. Okay. So I don't know what that's about. I don't know if these are good ones. We have a shield here. So someone is super guarded right now based off of the situation. We have um, like desert or like Nevada energy. Um, Nevada, Las Vegas, desert. Okay. Very dry and hot and dry um, weather climate that someone could be traveling to. We have passport control here as well. I'm going to get some more because I don't know if that's resonating. Kind of like... You know, I don't know. So those are your first set of emojis. Let's get some more. Okay, we have strawberries here. Okay, we also have um, the sun, but in the city, like sun. This looks like sunrise. Um, hmm. We have a shocked face here. We have a Christmas tree. And we have a, a book. And it's volume one. So maybe you and this person have more to experience with each other. This is only volume one of your, you know, situation. Okay. There's still yet more to be uncovered. All right. So let's get your last words. I'm going to take this to the extended, guys. We're going to see what's going to happen next between you and this person. Their current feelings for you. Um, and we're going to also see what the outcome is going to be, of course. Or what they'll do next and the outcome. All right. Let's see. Oh my god. Not shuffling the best today. Alright, let's see, let's see. Alright, sorry, give me the last words, please, for whoever's dealing with this situation. Give me the last words. Not you, Siri. <laughs> give me the last word, spirit. Okay. Bottom of the deck says ho energy. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's interesting, honestly. All right, let's see what else comes out. Hold on. This one, this one. All right, this we'll do this one and this one. All right, guys, so first we have drunk texting you. So this person will be reaching out to you. Um, they could be under the influence. Maybe they need liquid courage that, you know, I don't know what to say about that. Now, what's crazy is that we have unbalanced one-sided. So I do feel like it was like this in the past. But then you do have this card as well, balanced relationship. So there is um, a probability of this being balanced moving forward. But of course, we're going to see what's going to come out in the extended. Make sure you guys like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on your next reading. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the extended. All right, bye-bye.